has balls. Welcome back to the live stream. Sorry guys, we're all over the place today. I was busy painting, so I am a little bit, well, I'm really late. Um, so last week was a busy week, like most weeks, but I spent a lot of time drawing the subject matter, which last week's subject was the Tarsier. Tarsier, which is a the smallest monkey. Um, yeah. They're pretty interesting animals, at least from what we learned about them. Um, but right now I'm in the middle of painting, which is kind of, I don't know, it's not a terrible place to be. It's not the greatest place to be, but we're on week, this will be the sixth painting of the year. On week six, finishing up. Uh, it's a lot of painting to do. And this one was quite difficult. So... I've been trying to broaden my horizons, but with such little time, it's kind of hard. So here's what I did. Here's where we got, and I'm gonna just continue and pick up painting there. And that's kind of gonna be the plan for today. We are gonna pick next week's animal and do a little bit of research about that tonight, but we're gonna try to get that in like the last 15 minutes of this episode is the plan. So that's the plan. Um, we're just going to kick it today because, yeah. Anyways, let's do a little brief recap and go over where we're at. Let's go to our studio. So jumping right into the studio. Here's where we've been. So I started out with this drawing, which I liked. But I didn't want to get stuck on it. So I drew a few more. Here's the tuk-tuk from Indonesia. Because these are in Indonesia and in the Philippines, I guess. The Philippines have a little bit more of a pointy ear. Um, then I kind of drew some other ones. Some cartoony ones. Uh, just some quick sketches. This was the actual very first one. I wanted him like shielding his face and his eyes. But I didn't quite get that. To look right and then I took a completely different look but I feel like this one looks more like a bat than it looks like a monkey for some reason anyways so here's where we started with the sketches great fantastic then transferring it to canvas whole different problem completely different problem because paint is nowhere near the same as graphite so it's a hard translation. Anyways, we're not too far in. This time I tried to shade my... Oh, I tried to do a lot of things. I tried to take some chances and that's where we, were, where we are right now as we're kind of taking chances and we're continu continuing on where we left off. So here's where I'm at right now. I just finished all the black, although as you can see, like some of the black areas, it's not shiny because I used a pen. So I got to kind of fix that. I got to go in there with a fine brush anyways, which is kind of annoying. But I'll get around to it. Anyways, coming down here to our monkey. I uh, hit the headlights in this all this like light yellow, kind of washed it. Um... And now I'm like kind of working on the UFO. I'm working on all pieces that are drying at the moment. So that's the plan. Um, but we're going to kind of go from there. We're going to use a split screen because I want to try to jump into and like their color, their color, his color palette is gray. Like a brownish color. I think I'm going to color him gray and make the tree brown. 
and he's going to be very gray in that in that situation. Now the problem is is I don't have very much gray to work with, so this might be a good time to mix some paint and maybe not make him like totally gray, but make him gray enough. That means that I can probably color this in to an extent. Right? Like, if the light's coming from behind him like I want it, he's going to be quite silhouetted. Silhouette-y. But I want to give him some color, so I don't know. I'm all over the place with this piece, and this is kind of how this has been going. Like, I want to give shape to the tree. The tree shouldn't be this yellow, I don't think, though. But it would be nice just to, like, give it a little bit of shape so we can kind of see. Right. Okay. I mean, but this is all going to be dark. Like, maybe... We'll see like a little shine of light over the edge of that because this is all going to be behind him. Okay, so we're just kind of coloring it right now, which is pretty relaxing. Just going to chill and draw. If I was smart, I would color in spaces. So they say it's good to block things out using these markers. <coughs> so I'm probably going to have to make this a little bit wider. That's okay. this a little bit thicker too. The, the issue is I wanted it to, to split off. Maybe I'll just drag this one out to the end. Because I want to put a leaf somewhere. Oh, sorry, you guys can't see this. There we are. Looks so much better, tiny and small. Maybe I can not give it so much direct light. Nope. Still. Somewhere there. It's the best I can do with the lighting. And this would be like just gleaming at the edges. But this would all be dark. I 
this would be dark. This whole side is going to be dark pretty much. All right, well, that seems fun. trees where I don't want to make trees. <clears throat> okay. That being said, let's move on in. So we're trying to get darker with everything as we go, right? So, it's my next color I wanted to do gray but I think well let's see everyone's having a good week out there I know we kind of jumped into it weekend Super Bowl was this weekend I heard I hear things like that happen feet are actually very pink. It's fine. We're not doing it to look realistic. We're doing it to look cool. That's what we're going to do. to look cool so we're gonna we're gonna get her done
These things have the weirdest fingers. But I guess everything that I've drawn so far is just very strange looking. I don't know what I was doing as a kid, like looking stamps. There's all these cool things in the world that I just like am now learning about. I guess I was just interested in riding my bike. And I was interested in girls. And then I'm just painting away. Just fine. It's a quieter hobby. We're gonna make this one look crazy. You have these bright orange eyes, yellow eyes. I really want to do that justice. I should have probably put them, colored them here too. But I don't know how I'm gonna make this thing stand out because it's not at the moment. Also because it's 95% the color it's not supposed to be. I'm doing a bad job coloring though. Okay, there's that. Got his hands in. I feel like I want to like hit this with a stronger yellow. Is this is not the yellow I've been using. That's fluorescent yellow. I do like that too. But Where's the yellow I've been using? Oh dear. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Oh, never mind. I see it. I see it. <coughs> so I'm just going to hit this real quick just to see what it does. Can't mess it up because. I don't like it much anyways. I need to color in the bottom of that tuk-tuk, but it's like a half breed, so it's the wrong color. I don't know, everything's gonna be the wrong color here. And that's okay. That's okay if it's the wrong color. Not gonna matter. So should we make our friend white? Blast him out? I don't know. I just don't know what color he should be then. I did want to outline him in chrome, but then what color does he need to be? I think he should be gray all the way through, which means his fur 
Well, it can't be that yellow. What color is he? Well, let's get one thing straight. Other colors for him to be. He could be peach. I can make him peach, but then he's still not very colorful. He looks naked. Oh man, I outlined one. Okay, yeah, good, great. So, I was thinking maybe the same. Give me here. Right, down, down to the end. And then what will happen is we'll probably have like. okay they all can't be winners we're just going to do our best to see if we can make see this one it might be impossible it might be impossible oh dear Looks like white, so it doesn't really matter all that much. But, you know, it's all in the detail with painting, so maybe I'll thin it out a little bit just to make it look a little bit better. Maybe with a little bit of a thinner line. But I'm going to hit this underside with the fatty. That too. just want to like Now I'm just like pretty much guessing a lot. It's okay. I mean, it's yours, so do what you want with it. Only the only person who is ever going to think you messed up is you. Oh man, that thing is so bright and like over saturated with that yellow 
let's just go to studio so we can get a better look at it. I think he might have to be white. I don't know. Dark, dark brown. something to scrub on. Right, so like Junior Roost. Eventually you'll be on the thin line. Alright, cool. So I probably want to like continue the rays on the back side still. Cause this guy's out here by himself. This will, oh man, as just as I say that, I'm like, this will turn out good and I like totally screw it up. I'm not the easiest marker to be drawing with now though. If I had any skill with the paintbrush, I'd use a paintbrush, but I guess that's all going to take time to learn. And when I find it, I will learn it. Time that is. But for now, I have to use my old tools and my old things to try to make it work. Okay, great. Then we're gonna like continue like big. These should be pretty big. Might have some striations in them. That's not the right direction. Okay, but we're not going to be able to thin that out. What? Uh oh. Because all the light should be coming this way. Maybe I can save it. It's going to be a big piece of yellow. That's okay. Nothing else down here.
this, I think we should have some smaller ones too. to here. Great. Let's see what we can do over here. So I'm just going to have to draw it in. get this done, running out of things. So I still need to know what color this thing needs to be. I think white. Should I just give him a test run of white? It's not that he can't hurt him. But he can't be white because it's the outline around him that's going to be white. to be shaking. <coughs> okay, skip that then. Let's jump into something else.
Sorry, guys, just like zoning out, just drawing here. This um, pin didn't work great. Looks better in person, but doesn't look great in person either. So no idea what color to make the monkey. Everything just kind of isn't doing what it needs to do. Just want to go crazy and do something fun now because it's just not working. It's orange and scribbled orange now. Kind of have to get the texture of that down so I can figure out what's really going on there. I'll fix it later. Can't just put some definition in here. Extra definition. Okay, so now that that's all terribly done, it's just, um, That just just murders my little, poor little alien man in here. It's too too bright. It's too bright. It's going to be too dark. Tip has like a little piece of fuzz that kind of drives me crazy. I think I'm making it worse now. Blue is just terrible. Okay. Well, let's give it a quick shake. Maybe I can just ruin it with this. It's light blue again. in there. 
Connect to being its terrible self. Terrible twos. I feel like this one looks fun. Looks fun because it is fun. Okay, and then the back part needs to get that. I want a liquid chrome the top here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Should be awkwardly shiny. Turning <laughs> great, like a mirror on camera. A good chrome. Um, I guess I'll have to let it sit and see what how I'm gonna do the other part. I'm going to draw in this black grommet goes along the window sill. It's actually all black. I'm just gonna fill it in. I bet you I could draw closer to me and we can all get a better look. I like moved it down and I zoomed in. Look, there, it looks much better now, right? Great. <sighs> Already 46 minutes in. I gotta actually switch over and do the other part. But let's just finish up this UFO part real quick. Why is nothing drawing on anything now? Maybe I've hit the end. It's like, you need to stop. I think that's better. I probably should have put this black in before I Looks like a little takes my first car, you know, those orange carts, but it's not supposed to.
messed up on that middle one, but I'll fix it later. I don't know what I was thinking. I could fix it now. I can't fix it now because the black is going to be terrible. Anyways, I'll fix it later. I'm going to redo that anyways. Oh, I don't even have the chat running, but it doesn't matter. But I gotta quit and I gotta change gears. The other problem is this canvas bends as I come in to finish the line. some touch-up I need to do in like all sorts of places. Um, I don't know quite what I'm going to do with stuff inside the light. I don't know what I should do. I definitely should outline this one. Maybe hit it in that gray. that area I don't know I have to go back and do some cleanup in all locations but we only have nine minutes left and I guess I'm going to be multitasking because I didn't quite get this one finished uh, I'm gonna take a step back from it take a look at it tomorrow run it uh, and catch myself up I'm not too far behind I'm really just like a bunch of eyeballs away and some texture on this guy and some eyeballs on him you know now we got a good thing going here you know everyone's got everyone's looking Uh, it's starting to look better. I'm starting to like it a little bit more. It's a little bit. It's a lot. It was a lot to do in one sitting. I've really been trying hard to get everything done, but life is a cruel mistress, and what you want to get done versus what you actually are physically capable of getting done. There's not enough hours in the day to get done everything I want to do and I'm trying to like pull ahead on some projects here and that's been quite difficult <sighs> and work's been tough okay but let's um cut over and I'll finish this up this week. By Wednesday, this one will be done. And I will still have a white canvas of the other one. Um, maybe I'll throw in some green back there. Some some color here. Maybe I'll throw in some color here. This is very yellow still. Maybe throw some white back in, you know. Maybe hit it hard with the white. Bring streaks of white back in we need to be going huh actually I like the light going this way yeah 
yeah so we're just going to keep like molding it working on it um this is one of those examples of like okay well i don't love it but i'm working on it and so we'll continue to work on it and get it done to a point where we like it and we can put it up all right well anyways we're going to move on from this one since this one took up a whole time and we didn't really get anywhere but it's looking a lot better than it was earlier today it was still white the actual stuff that I had put on here originally there was too much black I had to move some black and white around which took a long time for the paint to dry it was just it's just a drying game um, that's why I use markers online because you can actually draw over them kind of but we'll uh, continue to work on this I'll get the shading right take a look at it with some fresh eyes tomorrow and uh, we'll continue on but that doesn't mean that we're going to let that stop our process of what we still need to do. Well, that's weird. Do you see the little rainbow in it um, on camera, on the black? Anyways, we're going to put this aside. We're going to do what we got to do, and then we are going to sign off for tonight. So we're done with that. Let's hop into the webcam so we can talk about what's going to happen next. Okay, so next what I need to do is I need to grab some paper and we need to roll for canvas or skateboard this week. I haven't done a skateboard in a while. Or I haven't done a skateboard since the first one. I didn't even roll for that. Or I didn't, did roll for that one. Okay. Anyways, we're going to pick. We're going to choose what we're going to do today. Let me grab the good old Sharpie. And uh, the plan is to um, roll for what we're going to do. Now let's go to ChatGPT because we're going to use ChatGPT and I'm going to get the keyboard. Where's the keyboard? Keyboard out. Oh my. There we go. Um, I need to take all these um, animals that I have been making and I need to um, Put them all into a hat so that I have them saved. Okay, so we're gonna go down. So we got narwhal, sloth, kuoka, kangaroo, hummingbird, and arctic tern. So our first goal will be to try to play the chat GPT game where I get it to exactly line up. Nope, it's not going to work. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump over into our split screen. And there we have it. Nice split screen view. And we're going to do our best. So here's what our last one was. And this is what our new one's going to be. So we can actually kind of use this one. We're done with the... Uh, we're done with our good old friend, the Tarsier here uh, so we can erase this one although man it's looking pretty solid let me grab this we're gonna erase this bottom part and that's gonna be that all right then we're going to erase our little dice over here and then we're going to see if we can remove actually I didn't have to remove the center line I could have just used it oh I didn't do it all right start over even this is going to take time to dry the, the marker is not going to work correctly on this either Okay, wow, that blue is just nuclear blue. I completely stain that. Okay, this week we are going to be working with still the same thing. We're either going to be painting a board. I don't think I have any recycled canvas, although I can look. I probably do. Something that needs to go out. I have wood paneling too that I need to paint. But for now, we're going to do skateboard, evens, odds. Let's 
do odd, we'll do the skateboard. Odds, we'll do canvas. Are those wood panels ever going to be used for what they were supposed to be used for? No, but I'm good with this right now, I think. This will work. Um, even or odd. Skateboard. All right, let's roll. Plan is to roll. What are we gonna roll today? The blue or the red dice? What should we roll? I guess I'll just pick and I will pick the red dice. Blue dice, red dice, blue dice. All right, rolling the blue dice. Evens, we're doing canvas. Odd, we're doing a skateboard. Evens, we're doing another canvas. Okay. Well, we got plenty of canvas to burn through. I guess we're really pushing the paint game right now. Um, all right, even. Canvas again. And then what animal are we doing? Roll the red one for animal. And the animal we will be doing is... Oh, this one will be fun. It's a one. We're going to be doing a narwhal. That'll be fun. Just the research alone will be fun. I mean, well, we're going to... Should we do a little bit of research? Should we? Let's just give it a good college run at the, the, I'm doing a quick research paper. We can ask ChatGPT about it too. Should we just ask ChatGPT and just can you please give me more information about the Oh, it's still, wow. Wow, all right. Let's read about it. Certainly, the narwhal, the narwhal monodone monoceros is a unique and fascinating marine mammal known for its long spiral tusk. Key, uh, here are some key facts about narwhal. Narwhals are medium-sized tooth, tooth whales that can grow up to be 16 feet in length. The most distinctive feature of a narwhal is its long spiral tusk, which is actually an, an elongated tooth. Males typically have longer tusks than females, so, and some can reach the lengths of over 10 feet and, and 3 feet and 3 meters, 10 feet or 3 meters. Ta the tusk purpose. The exact purpose of the narwhal's tusk is still not fully understood. It was initially thought to be used to break ice or for hunting, but recently researchers suggest that may, it may primarily be used to for social communication. 
and as a sensory organ detecting changes in in the environment interesting that's a whole new um, phrase for the word word toothache like you got a headache and a toothache if you're a narwhal habitat narwhals are arctic whales and are found in cold waters of the arctic ocean including the canadian arctic greenland russia and norway they are known to inhabit both deep offshore deep offshore waters and shallow coastal areas Norwals are known to travel in groups or pods, which can consist of several individuals. They are social animals and may be seen interacting with each other, especially during the breeding season. Narwhals primarily feed on fish, including Arctic cod, halibut, and squid. They are they, they are used they use a, they are they use echolocation to locate their prey in the dark Arctic water. And the, they use echolocation to locate their prey in dark a arctic waters. Wow, that was tough. Migratory behavior. Narwhals are known for their long distant migration. In the summer, they migrate to shallow coastal waters where they can find food. And in the winter, they move to the deeper offshore waters. Conservation says narwhals are considered near threatened. On the International Union and Conservation Nature's Red List, they face threats from climate change, habitat de degradation, and potential disturbances for human activity. The narwhal's unique appearance and behavior make it a captivating species, and its mysterious tusk has long captured the imagination of people. Uh, ongoing research is helping to uncover more about their biology and eco ecological role in the arctic ecosystem Whew. all right narwhal cool i'm i'm excited i wanted to do a skateboard when i did an ocean scene because i want to do an aquarium inside the the cockpit of the spaceship but uh we'll get to that i guess at a different time now i gotta like think of, of things to do with narwhal and the canvas anyways that's gonna be it for tonight uh thanks for watching as always happy monday i hope everyone is getting through their monday and uh is getting ready for the rest of the week yeah anyways as always thanks for watching and uh We'll be back on Wednesday to work on the next part of this project, which is painting. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the tarsier done, and then I mean I'm gonna get them both done at the same time. I'm just a little bit behind because I had to try to push myself ahead in some editing and kind of lagged on the painting. But now I know that I can't do that. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.